Okay, today we'll be opening up this used factory installed AC Delco oil filter, number PF63. And I got this used AC Delco oil filter from a very generous viewer whose name is Mason from Ware, New Hampshire. Thanks, Mason. This oil filter was in service for three months, 5,647 miles, and came off of Mason's grandfather's 2024 GMC Sierra 3500 HD pickup truck. He upped the one with a 6.6 liter V8 engine. Mason's grandfather, whose name is Bill, was using factory filled 5W30 oil during this period. This was the truck's first oil change. Hmm, first oil change? This should be interesting. Let's open up this AC Delco oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is a network. You got a Bluebell silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your end of here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. And Mason tells me that they had this truck undercoated, so that's why stuff's all on here. It's kind of hard to read the date code. But if you look right here, it's 13123. So I'd say that's January 31st, 2023. Product of USA. And this is a sticker. And this filter has eight inlet holes, nylon center cage with a bypass valve down below, five grooves there for threads, nitro rubber gasket. It's pretty thick. I'll put the measurement of this on the screen. Okay, and let's open this filter up and see what it looks like. Oil. Nitro brain drain back valve. That yeah, looks good. Yeah, I'll clean it up so you make sure there's no slits in it, but it doesn't look like there's any tears or slits in it. It's a nice amount of inlet holes. Yeah, so that looks that looks all good. Filter element, metal end caps. And right here's the seam, glued seam. A little space there, but it ain't bad. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. And they're nicely spaced. I don't see any tears. That must be from, uh, that's probably a sliver of paint from the can blue. Yeah, that's what I would think that is. The camera's having a hard time focusing here, I don't know why, but. Yeah, that all looks good. You got here, stamp leaf spring with a bypass valve. Okay, that all looks good. And can. Can's pretty clean. I don't see no no soot or anything. That looks good. All right, let's get some measurements. Point two nine millimeters for the can. Wow. Oh. oh, that's tough. Yeah. Wonder. I'm gonna remeasure this anyways, but. Okay, getting 0 0.47, 0 0.46 millimeters for the can. And then the filter element. Three point four seven inches wide, minus a tenth of an inch. Well, I think it's having a hard time focusing for some reason. Hope you guys can see that. All right. Well, let me cut this filter open, squeeze it out, and stretch it out, and uh, see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so here's the filter all stretched out. And this filter is 53 inches long.
Okay, and let's get the thickness of this filter media. 0.75 millimeters thick. This is the filtering side. Back side. And if you look at this filter media, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little sparkly in here. Can't really see it right now. It's in here somewhere. But anyways, I got a picture of it. The microscope picture of it. I took two microscope pictures of this sample right here. So let's take a look at that picture right now. So as you can see, the filter itself is pretty clean. Um, it's clean on the surface, and I got like a little picture of a piece of metal in there. There is some metal in this filter media. And let's take a look at it up close. So you can see some, those are bits and pieces of metal. You see some right there, there, there. Quite a bit of metal, but that's usually the case in a first oil change. Right there too. Another one over there. Right there. But the there's no soot or carbon really on this filter. A couple metal there. I'll check them at the end, see if these are uh, magnetic or not, but ferrous, non ferrous. Now let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So you got your gasket. The gasket looks fine. Nice thick gasket. See this part here I'm sitting against the block. It all looks good. Any drain back valve looks fine. Looks like it did its job. You know, looks like it would do its job actually. It just cover up all these inlet holes. That's, so that's nice. I like the base plate on that. Bypass valve and get your metal end caps. You got no problem with uh, getting oil flow through this. <laughs> so, in the can, can's pretty clean inside. Now, you'd imagine there, there's not going to be really any dirt. It's a brand new engine, so first oil change, but you do get the sparklies. I would say the filter did its job. What do you guys think about this filter? And again, I want to thank Mason for sending me this used first oil change AC Delco oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays, I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. Let's check these out. They're ferrous or non-ferrous? Nope, doesn't stick. Doesn't stick to the magnet. Nope. Nope. Nope, none of these are non-magnetic, so.